Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature Flowers Photo P tutorial. Today we're looking at doing one of these really cool colour splash and makeup effects. Um, my wife's a face painter, she works with glittery rainbow cat face painting. She has these beautiful eye designs. I thought what would be really cool is to do one standing out against a black and white background. To do this it's really straightforward. What you need is a photograph of the original face. You will then need to create a duplicate layer of that. So right click on the layer menu and click duplicate layer. Then you'll need to go to your image adjustments and black and white and click OK and you'll have a black and white copy of the image. Then you will need to go to the background image and click select the color range Wait for it to load a moment. Then you need to defuzzy it and click on the colors that you want to select. And bring it up a little bit. Once you've done that, click OK. Then you go to the layer, the black and white layer you just made. You go to select inverse and then you click on the layer mask and it masks out those layers and you can see I've picked out all those pink colours here which is really lovely and if you want to add any more you go to the layer mask you make sure you're on black you go to the paintbrush you can zoom in by pressing view and zoom in and view and zoom in and you can change the size of your paintbrush so that it's the right size. Then you can mask out some more of the paint so you get the colours coming through from all of your design. Make the paintbrush a bit smaller. And you've got complete control over which bits that you colour and which bits that you don't. And it's a really, really useful tool. That's a bit small, that one. Make it a little bit bigger. And you can bring in all the colours that you've done. Now, imagine you've done a bit and you've gone wrong, like here. Oh, no, I've gone onto the skin. You simply switch the colours over here to the white, and then you go over it, and you can replace it with the layer mask. So you can play around with your paintbrush, bringing in all the bits that you want to add to your design, like so. And again, if you make mistakes, just use the button like that. And you can have a lot of fun creating all sorts of colourful black and white images. It's a really straightforward technique. Obviously, make sure you are on the layer mask menu here and you're using the black and white accordingly to delete the or add the mask as you see fit. I um, hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have, obviously, give it a thumbs up and pop over to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and tick the notification bell to be updated when I make new tutorials. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.